there, my name is Jean Haynes and I am a watercolour addict. I absolutely adore working with watercolour and I'm here to show you in this film exactly why I am so enthusiastic about this medium. Um, I'm going to be doing all sorts of exercises to show you how to build up unique paintings in possibly an unusual approach. Now I'm going to get the colour to flow by adding clean amounts of water either side of it or I could just throw some water on top and that's going to create a nice run of colour. I could play at this stage by adding more pigment or more water. And what I'm trying to do is get a lovely variety of effects and patterns. I don't want a smooth covering of colour at all. The point of these exercises is to use as many different colours as you can. So imagine if you start working on Monday, that's six colours. By Friday, how many colours have you used? And if you do this for a number of weeks, you're building up a collection of colours that you might not necessarily have used for a long time. It might stretch you to look for new colours because you're bored with the ones you already have. Don't paint in a rut. Always look for new colours, new colour combinations and new products. When you just put colour on, it's really boring and that's going to dry in a straight line if I don't go straight in and encourage this pigment to move. See, using all those little scraps of paper and learning how the pigment moves with the water makes me a little bit more confident when I'm going in freehand painting a subject. Now, I don't like the look of that one pink. It's quite boring. So let's go back to the colours we used on the rooster. We'll drop this lovely orange in. I want to make this look as though it's glowing. I'm going in quite strong. Bear in mind that watercolour dries slightly paler anyway. So that's given it a lovely glow. <laughs> 